Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. I am your host Best Rukin and today today we're back and we're looking at the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Super Super Hero movie. <laughs> but this time it's Vegeta. We're looking at the new Vegeta. Yes, uh, powered down Vegeta. Awesome Vegeta. Uh, very upper torso shiny Vegeta. But really good looking Vegeta. I just wish that they changed the legs. To something new but I mean it works for the figure so you know whatever it's all the same almost all the same Vegeta parks uh, going down uh, up top uh, the head sculpt is the same head sculpt and face plates as the uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly movie uh, Vegeta like you could swap the heads and get like a blue with black hair thing going those face plates will fit on this uh, Vegeta, but instead of blue or red, it's a power down, you know, Vegeta head sculpt, which is nice. And then again, for this one, you're paying for a new Vegeta, which I believe it's a little bit more pricier than Goku or Piccolo, or it's the same price as Piccolo, or 40, 45 dollars, I believe. But yeah, you get. Uh, just new detailed face plates. I think they're almost the same face plates as as the other Vegeta, uh, but just detailed with more of the black lines and different uh, skin tone to match the movie. Uh, so yeah. Also, again, this video is sponsored by ComicBookClothing.com. Yes, ComicBookClothing.com. Get your uh, everyday cosplay gear. Uh, and you know link in the description and uh, once again code bestrukin I'll have the I, I, I believe it's bestrukin I don't know if I put bestrukin 36 but it's just bestrukin 5% uh, uh, off link for an additional 4% off and yeah back to the video alright <laughs> yes let's take a closer look at this Vegeta and his accessories and once again this one not a lot of accessories but it's an awesome looking Vegeta now here's the prince of all Saiyans Vegeta uh, and like I said uh, let's go over the new stuff that the older obviously this is the uh, okay basically his like training looking outfit right with his glove sleeveless uh, like shirt and then the pants are basically from his suit you know with the legs and everything uh, new things here so uh, despite from the second or from the Broly version so the new, uh, the shirt the up the you know the torso of it is new very shiny compared to the bottom part but uh, so this is all new uh, compared to like the Majin uh, Vegeta where it was like all super tight this is more of a loose uh, you know torso shirt uh, I don't know like a muscle shirt it's not really a muscle shirt but you know like a it's a sleeveless shirt <laughs> all right uh, the arms are new cuz I mean uh, obviously painted uh, and in this version of the arms we don't get the veins uh, Majin the Majin Vegeta version had uh, veins coming out cuz you know Majin Vegeta all right uh, the gloves and it's like almost the same paint the same white as the uh, Broly, uh, the Dragon Ball uh, Super Broly movie uh, Vegeta. So it's kind of going off that same uh, tone of blue and everything. So he like matches up with that Vegeta versus like the Super Saiyan Vegeta. All right, and then the new face plates, like I said, we'll go over those right now. But articulation is basically the same as the old, the older Vegeta. Uh, so yeah, you can only go that wide, kick that much forward, backwards, double joint the knee. Yeah, we're going through the articulation. Uh, <laughs> uh, it still has this that a lot of people don't like. It's like the double ball uh, feet thing, the tiny toe uh, articulations. Yeah, it's like that. So the arms go up and down, double jointed elbows. Same, so everything's the same. And then for the new torso. It could go up a little bit and then down four. He could crunch pretty far. And yeah, same type of ball as the other Vegeta's. So you could swap. And then uh, it 
all the other Vegeta heads, like Super Saiyan Vegeta heads from like the Monaco Fit or the you know the Super Saiyan Blue and Red head, they fit on here, and they don't look that bad. I know the skin tone kind of looks off on Goku when you swap like Super Saiyan heads and stuff like that because there's a different skin tone. But for this body and everything, it looks it looks okay. It doesn't it's not too off when you're when you're dealing with lighting and you get it right, you know, with pictures and stuff. So it, but, you know. It's a really good uh, body if you missed out on the Majin Vegeta. Uh, but this one's, for me, is 100% better than that one. Because you get a cool power down Vegeta head and like the different faces. It's all the same hands and everything. And we're going to go over that right now. With all the accessories that this guy comes with. And it looks, it looks cool. He looks uh, very intimidating. Awesome Vegeta. Awesome Vegeta. Now this is the accessories that this figure comes with. It's not a lot. It's kind of enough because you're kind of getting what your your work or your money's worth. We don't get a blast effect. That's fine or anything like that. But we get awesome face plates, more details, more black lining in it. The hands are the same from the, every other Vegeta uh, figure, except for like the was it the two finger hands that he does as Majin Vegeta. Other than that, you, you get the thumbs up, you get the, the like, you know, this styling uh, hands, blast effect hands, and the uh, Gallic gun hand. The only hands you don't get is the, uh, what is it, the Big Bang attack hand. But if, if you have collected a different Vegeta, I mean, you know, you can use that hand. Uh, I think also the hand from the uh, Vegito figure will work. I believe he has that hand, the big bang attack hand. But anyway, uh, so yeah, let's look at the faces. So this is basically just a redone of the uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly movie uh, faceplate. Uh, just, you know, detailed with black lines on it. It looks really good, and then the skin tone. Uh, same with this one. I'm pretty sure the yelling face is the same. And then I think these are the only two new ones. Or this one might be. Oh, wait, I'm not even showing it. This one might be uh, the one from uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly. But again, just detailed with black lines and teeth. I believe. I think. Because I know that figure also has that uh, smirky. And then even this face. I think. But it's just, again, done a lot better with the. Uh, done a lot better with the. Uh, black lining in it and that's pretty much it for the accessories these figures don't come with too much all right now let's do size comparison now here he is next to his best friend in the whole wide world uh goku from the same movie line uh the sh figure arts dragon ball superhero wait super superhero well oh, anyway yeah dragon ball super superhero movie there we got it okay uh so yeah that's the it's the same size as the previous Vegeta, so they keep kept that accurate. Uh, uh, you know, he's a bit smaller than Goku, but not by much, right? And then uh, he's pretty small with Ryu, Spider-Man, and he's almost the same. No, he's smaller than uh, than the Figma Saitama. And then last, we need the third from the line. Here is the. I'm not gonna say it, but here's uh, Piccolo from the same. Of the movie, and get all three. Just one more, and it's in the next episode. So yeah, they look great together. You know, uh, awesome. Uh, they did a good job on this Vegeta. They're giving us some new stuff, new arm, or yeah, new arm, uh, new, uh, new body, torso, chest, and then the detailing on the face plates. It's a really good Vegeta. If you don't have a Vegeta, this is a great Vegeta to have. That, and it's not that expensive right now. I believe it's in the same price range as Piccolo. I believe 35 to 40, maybe 45. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video, whether it's action figure reviews, video games, and much more. These figures are awesome. Alright, bye.